Okay, so so far we've built a customers table and we've saved it in the database as TBL customers. Now we can enter data into this table, we can double click it to open it, or we can right click it and select open. So here's our table. Ignore this field here, auto number. We don't touch that. We go straight to this one, company name, and we type in. Notice how access has entered a number one here automatically. This is our auto number field that we created earlier. Every time we add a record in the table, that gets incremented by one. So now we can see customer ID has one. You can notice this column here, company name, it's not showing the whole name. Now the way around that is to expand this column. You move the mouse to the edge of company name until you see a double arrow. Then you hold the mouse down and you drag it to the right here and then let go when you're happy that uh, you can see the whole name at the top there. Okay, all the others look okay. So we can type in all these other fields. Just tab again. That will take you right back to auto number. Tab across, and as soon as you enter another company, you'll see this auto number change to number two. Once you've typed in each field, press the tab key to move to the next one. Okay, what else come up? We say about this table. Well, you can see the name of the table is in the top there in blue. At the bottom, the record selectors, we have a number of records showing two. We can move back and forth. We can expand this window by double clicking on it, bring it back. We can highlight each column. We've already said we can make them wider. So there we have our table with some data entered. I'm probably going to enter more records in here, so further tutorials will have a good set of data.